Our best defense against asteroids. Are we related to a cannibal? And a Martian mystery is revealed. It's all coming up on Weird Things TV. For the May 28th, 2010 edition of the program, I'm Justin Robert Young, editor of WeirdThings.com. Armageddon's a baffling movie. Who would ever hire Billy Bob Thornton as an authority figure? Why isn't the president still black like he was in that other movie with the same plot that came out at the same time? And when Ben Affleck throws an animal cracker in his girl's underpants, it's the cutest thing in the world. But when I do it, all I hear for weeks every time she gets out of the shower is that she's still finding crumbs. Turns out there's one part about that movie that is dead on. A nuclear weapon might be our best deterrent against getting murdered by a rogue asteroid, according to a talk at the American Astronomical Society meeting. As you can see in this computer model, if we give it enough lead time, a nuclear payload could break up or deflect a asteroid, therefore saving us from certain doom hurtling from the cosmos. Cue the song. Cause every time I dream of you I really thought about the crumbs, girl I learned a valuable lesson About the consistence of cookies Well, we found the earliest species related to humans And it turns out he was a bit of an asshole Anthropologists have learned that he swung from trees, lit fires And crudely defleshed animals and hominids not humans, but hominids to eat. Yes, folks, we are related to a cannibal. Now, this raises all sorts of questions about which species bred with which species to create our species. However, it does give me a great justification for why I ate my landlord the next time I go see my therapist. Score. <coughs> Scratch one off the unsolved mysteries checklist. The Mars polar ice cap, as seen here, has bedeviled scientists for years not only because when you squint, it kind of looks like the alien from the movie Alien, but also the deep symmetrical grooves that are kind of pinwheeling around in it. Previously, we thought maybe it was a volcanic eruption that left the deep gouges, many of which are so wide it could comfortably house the Grand Canyon. But a new look at how the consistency of the ice is shows that it's not cut into an already solid pattern, but rather natural grooves as caused by eons of Martian wind. So, done. Solved. Totally sweet. Still a mystery is how it got there in the first place. My theory? The Coors Light Silver Bullet Love Train, which shows up at random, drops the temperature up to 40 degrees, and leaves mirth and beer wherever it goes. We should all be so lucky some, is, it, is it cold in here? At some point, to see the Coors Light Silver Bone Lunch. Oh my God! Is this? It's a Silver Bone Lunch train. Get on the lunch train. There's a, a, there's a car on the track. There's a car on the track. Get on the track. Oh my God! Oh my God! They're dead. Call 911. They're dead. But there's all this beer. I can't help but dancing. <laughs> if you want to read more weird stories, it's weirdthings.com. If you want to follow us on Twitter, it's twitter.com slash weirdthings.com. Until next Monday, I'm Justin Robert Young. Stay weird. Why can't I stop dancing? <gasps> I'm really sorry about the crumbs, girl!